Hi there guys, Megan Ryan, JC Ryan, James Cropper, and today I want to introduce you guys to Rappé. Now Rappé is a very fine substance, kind of like ash, and it's a mixture of tobacco and specific herbs and plants that certain tribes like to grind up and put together in order to create this snuff-like substance. The reason why I call it a snuff-like substance is because it's to be administered up the nose and into the sinus cavity. I'll show you how to do this in a second. I'll demonstrate it on myself. But essentially the way that you do that is you take a little bit of this, you put it on your palm, scoop it up, and you use this curpe to blow it into your nasal cavity. I'm gonna break it down, okay? Now firstly, many of these rapes come from specific tribes. You can get tribes in Brazil that create these rapes, Colombia, and other parts of Central and South America. These tribes will create these rapes for the use of ceremonial practice. For example, ayahuasca ceremonies. And they create these rapes with a very specific intention in mind. You see, they use these rapes and ceremonies because these tobaccos, flowers, and other plants hold specific frequencies that when combined together and blown up the nose can wipe out any negative energy within your system. Any entity attachments, any type of negative juju that's been passed on to you, maybe someone gave you the evil eye, or they just plain and simply don't like you. Or maybe you've been going through a lot emotionally. Now this is quite incredible because it can bring up a lot of emotions that you've probably stuffed down for the past month. With me, when I first started using this, the frequencies of the plants brought up within me a lot of sadness, a lot of feeling helpless, a lot of, a lot of pain. And there's a very scientific reason for this. When this was introduced into my system, it triggered what I could only describe as to this day, a neurologic response, whereby my nerve system was shocked in such a way that it forced me to reenact specific states of being that I had kind of succumbed to before during those same moments of stress and uncomfortability. And so because my nervous system is so big, it's, it's linked to all these different forms of emotional reactivity. You know, for example, if I get my finger, this finger specifically stuck in the door again, I'm pretty sure I'm going to act the same way that I did when I was eight years old and I got my finger stuck in the door. This is not magic. This is literal science. Your memory is held within your nervous system and within your anatomy. And so when you trigger through a very similar way, some type of systematic response through either pain or getting cold or through rapé or through heat, say so if you burn yourself, you are more than likely going to react in the same way that you did the last time that you burned yourself, in my case, getting my finger stuck in the door when I was eight, and so forth. So rapé does a very good job at just shooting through your system and bringing up very old patterns of behavior. And so for every person, it's different, okay? Now, when you work on this emotional content of sorts, in the same way that somebody can dust off your, your shoulders and your knee when you fall over as a kid, many times over, training you to have more of a upright, uh, mature response to falling over, over time, you can recondition your old emotional state of being every time you do rapé to the point where when you take it, you're fine. You're like, okay. Which is a good state to be in because it means that you've not only cleared old energies, old emotional states of being, but you've also reconditioned how you react to certain external stimuli. Okay. So yeah, this is why this is such a great tool to be used within ayahuasca ceremonies because when someone's going through the thick of it, right? Ayahuasca is showing them trauma after trauma after trauma, sometimes the same trauma on a loop. That person's entire circulatory system is going nuts. 
okay? The body feels like it's actually experiencing that trauma in real time. And so what better way to blow someone out of that traumatic experience than to shoot rapping into the, <laughs> into the nasal cavity, completely wipe the nervous system response and allow a person a little bit of relief. Now, I like to do just enough sometimes to bring up my emotional state, to work with my emotions, but sometimes I'm going through so much, I just have to do the Kutanawa. And it's like a relief. There are many ways of getting this relief. For example, going out for a run, swimming, or punching, yelling, screaming, anything that jars your nervous system is gonna wipe you out of any type of emotional state that you're in, especially a freezing cold shower. This is not too different, okay? The only difference is, is the frequencies are slightly different, hits you a little differently, can touch certain parts of your energy body and allow those things to be released or to come up and for you to cry them out or to work on them. Okay, so you need a bowl because you're gonna spit in the bowl. Probably throw up, don't let that discourage you. You also need some water and you need some tissue paper, okay, for blowing your nose. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. And then after this video, I'll also tell you guys where to get these things from. I've already told you where to get the rapé from, but there's been a couple of more websites and there are a couple more rapés that you can buy that do certain things. And I'll also show you where to get one of these. I made this one, but you can buy ones that look even better than this and work much more efficiently too. I'm going to use some Nukini White Roses. You simply want to scroll that off and you want to put this much on. Okay, this much. And you rotate it so it comes out properly. And that's about a pea size. For someone who's just starting, that's enough. Okay, that's enough. And now I can smell it. It's kind of turning my stomach a little bit. It does not smell good. Okay, now I'm going to mix this one too because I like to mix too. This is uh, Kuntanawa. I'm going to put just about the same amount in there. Okay. Now, there are many different types of meditations that you can do on Rappé. Rappé can teach you a lot. Depending on how spiritually inclined you are, will determine where these messages are coming from. Most of the time, it's your subconscious mind. When you feel good, you're able to think clearly. Because this basically makes you feel really good, changing your emotional state. It also allows you to think clearer and sometimes different aspects of your mind can come in and give you advice. In the same way that if you're very, very negative, negative aspects of your mind can come in and start belittling you or saying some negative things. It's because you feel negative, right? So, because this makes you feel good, it does the opposite. Now, the Nukini White Roses has the potential to open your heart, literally. It actually dilates the arteries around your heart, which makes you feel very much loved, which is great. <laughs> so, you flatten it out a little bit, okay? Then you scoop it up, right? Now, you want to scoop it up towards your heart, like this, and into the pipe. Always towards you. Okay? And if you've got a little bit left over on your hand, some people blow it off their hands and they wipe it up on their head like this. Okay, they do this in ceremony. So, okay, most crepes have this V-like shape. The smaller one is where your mouth goes in most cases. Okay, sometimes they're the same height, so pick and choose. But for the most part, they're shaped like this. Because I'm going to do this nostril first. I'm having the longest side on my left face toward my left. I'm not going to have it like this, okay? The side that goes up my nose matches the side that I'm going to blow up. What you do is you place the kerpe, K-R-U-P-E, and the E has a tonation on top that goes up like this, kerpe, okay? Place it on your forehead and you set a mental intention. This can be a little prayer you just hope for the best you wish for the best within your life it can be something that you want to look at and you know, maybe you want to look at yourself a little bit more deeply or maybe why you feel a certain way and you set the intention that hey i want to look at 
this area of myself a little bit more deeply. I'm feeling some discomfort with myself or something that I've said or done. I need to pay attention to it and kind of release it in a sense. And so you think about all of this. This all goes on in your mind and you just think about it. <laughs> yeah, and then to your chest. And your heart-based intention is basically the same thing, but it's all done through feeling. How does your heart feel? Does it feel tired? Does it feel like there's a hole there, maybe you're lacking, you're feeling like you're lacking something. If you can just set the intention from that space to fill that gap, that void, that hole. And then place both of your fingers on top of the trope. And you go up the body like this, making this sound. Shh! Up the body. Okay? Now if you do that loud enough, it will scare you a little bit, jar you a little bit. And that puts you on edge, right? It jars your nervous system a little bit. That's what you want. You want to jar your nervous system a little bit. That's how you know you've done it correctly. And then proceed to blowing it up your nose. Now, when I do this, I'm probably not going to be able to speak or function much at all on camera, so I'm going to try my best. But I'm going to get some tissue paper ready because sometimes I like to just dab the nose. And you also need one that you're going to blow all of the rapé into, okay? So, I'm going to breathe in, hold my breath, insert, and blow. Then, I'm going to gently breathe in through my nose, trying my best not to swallow the rapé. Okay? Rapé is spelled R-A-P-E, with a tonation again, just like uh, curpé. Tonation is up. Okay? Quite uncomfortable at the beginning. It stinks. <laughs> Maybe you're <feel> really happy. <laughs> <coughs> oh, yeah, that was good. I need to do it all over again for the next time. So, peace size about. <coughs> Though I like Nukidi because it gives me a loving feeling. So, I'll do a little bit more of that. Is it that one? Already my body just gives me like a lot of love and support. Love and support. Well it's hard to speak about all this. So we're kinda out of it. And it's telling me, you know, it's literally bringing up things I think about throughout the day and it's addressing them in a very nice order, like taking this little piece, like, hey, don't worry about it. And then I'll let it go. And I'm able to let it go because I feel like just letting things go. It's really helps for surrendering to feelings and emotions that you hold on to throughout the days and weeks, like stuff's coming up from yesterday right now. And um, I'm able to let it go and, and I'm able to see it more with love. This happens with people where they're really happy. They're able to see things in a much brighter perspective because they're not vibrating on such a dense, low, negative frequency. They're not harboring any negative energy. But when you're negative, it's hard to come up with these types of loving thoughts and clearer understandings towards your situation. And so this gets rid of a lot of the reactivity that we can experience when we're agitated. And it just settles the mind. We're going to face it toward the right side, the right side because I've got up the right nostril, to my head, heart attention. to keep your head up so that it goes down into the body you'll feel it <coughs> into your legs into your arms 
<laughs> this is something that I like to do in rap. Everyone has their meditations. Every meditation helps, but depending on what you're doing, a lot of the times we're pushed around, we're bumping into people in the street. And that sends, that sends a signal to our subconscious mind that we're not loved or that we're being abused, even if it's on a small amount. I don't mean crazy abu uh, abusing. <laughs> and so I like to just take my hand gently, sympathize with myself, everything that's happened, I just gently touch my forehead. And it sends a signal straight away to my brain that everything's okay and everything just relaxes. So a lot of tension is held in the head. So I take my hands and I just but it gets rid of a lot of a lot of stuff. It also make you feel loved, so you might feel like you need to cry, and that's fine. Touch your heart, and then your heart feels loved, it feels like it's taken care of. And your whole being goes when you gently touch yourself like that on your chest, on your shoulders. Okay. And you can do this, and you just do your entire being. Now, if you're angry, you place your hands on the floor, and you just keep them there. And you just gently place your hands on the floor. And you'll notice that the anger will just be surrendered. Um, you, you surrender to anything that you're holding on to because when we're angry, we hold on to a lot of stuff. So you place your hands on the floor. It's, in this moment, you, there's no need to be angry, so you just gently place your palms on the floor. You can lift your hand up and do it multiple times. It will help you surrender. Okay. You can place your hand on the floor too, that's also really nice to do. It makes your whole body. Surrender. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Now remember, piece of tissue paper to dab your nose because sometimes it gets kind of mucusy. Take that bigger piece of tissue, you blow it all out. Do not swallow, okay? And you might need to do that multiple times. And that's how you do rapping. Again, it's spelled R-A-P-E with turnation on top of the E that goes up. You might need to hold your thumb on the E key on your phone for the other turnations to reveal themselves. On your laptop or computer, it's, I think it's Control E. And it will show you different ways of doing the E so that when you look at this stuff online, you can find the right rapé. <laughs> okay, and it's the same with Cure Pace. I'm Ryan JC, this has been your potential. I love you all. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your days. I'll speak to you all pretty soon. Peace. I almost forgot. This is Florida water. They also use this in ceremonies because it smells really sweet and it's really pleasant. Put it in the fridge because when it's cold like that, it can also shock your nervous system and get rid of any emotions that are stuck. You put it on your hand, you can put it around your neck and it feels really nice. In your face, you can smell it. And just makes the whole world taste and smell and seem a little sweeter. Okay, another thing you can do, get yourself some water. You can do the whole thing with water too. You can put it on your head, you know, and you can sip it. Just clearing anything inside your system. Make sure to sip it when there's nothing going down the back of your throat so that you're not ingesting any wrapping.